Hi everybody, Creative Katie, Karen Birdshill here. Welcome to my channel, Mixed Media Creations. Thank you to those of you that are subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button now and select the option to get notified of upcoming videos. This video is part of my Build My Stash series. In this series, I will be showing you quick, easy, and inexpensive ways that you can create papers, embellishments, and other things that you can add to your mixed media art journal stash. If you have an idea, leave it in the comments below. Hi everybody, what you're looking at is my mixed media piece, my dancing starfish, and I absolutely love, 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 love this piece to death. And I created templates for the starfish in a very easy way and that's what this build your stash video is going to show you how to make your own templates that you can use on one project or multiple projects of in your art journal um, or on canvases so my mixed media this mixed media piece I used it as a tracer and then I did the negative painting activity. Sometimes, like on here, on this one, I used it to trace on gel prints that I then collaged on there. So it's really handy to have these. We're going to look for leaves. So what I'm going to do is simply bring up my Pinterest. Now if you don't have Pinterest you can just Google it and in the search bar I'm going to type maple leaf clip art or you could do drawing and I'm going to put free And then you get a whole variety of posts. So what you want to do is just scroll through the pictures, the clip art, till you find one that you like. So let's say I like this one. Click on the pin and it comes up here. Now sometimes it's a nice size like this one and sometimes it's not, it doesn't matter. So what you want to do is right click copy image once you copy the image you want to go into your word processing thing and open up a blank document and you want to paste that there now you can see how big it is now here's where you can make it smaller if you click on it and I'm just clicking there now you have can you see that box that's around it I can take that box and shrink this now I'm going to try to be hands-free here for a minute and so and I can make this whatever size I want if I take go in the corner and go in it's going to bring it so that left to right and top to bottom the dimensions stay basically within the same perspective right so I'm going to make that smaller and I want a variety of them so then I'm going to copy them and paste now if I want to I like some elongated ones so I'm just going to pull up and then make it looking like that so you can see you see the the difference so you can play with this as much as you want. You want some big ones, some small ones. So you could do as many of those as you want and you can have get one or two pages on there and then save your word document however you want it 
Okay, so once it's printed out, and you can save it in a Word document if you want to bring up later. Uh, you can alter the sizes, go back if it doesn't suit your project. You know, it's kind of, I'm guessing what size it is. Now I'm just going to kind of roughly cut these out. I will be cutting them out more, but I want to do this on thicker paper. But I'm just kind of doing a, a rough cut right now. Okay, so once you have them kind of roughly cut out, what you're going to do here is just get some thicker paper. Manila tag, you can use um, recycle and repurpose stuff. Uh, manila file folders, old ones that you've gotten. Um, I save a lot of my packaging from stencils and the like. They often have cardboard. Some of the junk mail has it. So you can use it. These are sheets that I had in a journal that the paper is just too light to be doing, you know, put wet medium on. So I'm just using it to make my templates. So what you want to do, I typically cut once and have... Um, more of the templates. I just figure once I'm, uh, I'm doing the job, I just want to do it. So I'm just kind of tacking it down. Now if you have um, glue that um, is liftable, you can do it on that as well if you, uh, that works. I just don't have that right now and I just always have painter's tape. Okay, so they're all just taped down roughly. Sometimes the bigger ones might have two pieces of tape or otherwise. And because I want multiples of each one, I am going to take a couple of them, of the other sheets, and cut, try and cut, I'm going to try and cut three. Okay, because right now, like I said, I want to do this right now. Build your stash is about doing it out of the moment of creating. I know I'm going to do, I've got, you know, plans to do lots of leave ones. So I know these are going to come in handy. So then what I'm going to do is simply cut. Now if three is too much, you can you know, cut one and then use it as a tracer. But I'm, I'm kind of uh, to streamline it. And none of what I'm cutting out is really that precise. I don't want a lot of nooks and crannies and, and details in the cu cutting of when I make templates. So let's talk about what you can use these templates for. You can tr use it as a tracer and trace out on your gel prints or colored papers and then collage it on. You can use the template to do the negative painting. You can use the template to trace around um, and actually kind of make a bit of a stencil. Trace, once you have the template and the thicker cardboard, trace it on to another thicker cardboard and use an X-Acto knife to make a bit of a stencil. Maybe we'll do one of those at the end so I can, yeah, that'll be another, that'll be another stash one. Okay, so once you have it cut out, now I'm just going to talk a little bit about storing them. Um, because I have multiple copies. I have three plus the original of each size and stretched out shape here. Um, what I'm going to do is just label them accordingly. So I'm just going to put a one on all these. You know, so I'm just going to label them that way. And that way I can just, you know, grab, if I need multiples of the same one, I want to do three of the same, I can just more easily find them. You can put a paper clip on them if you want.
So after they are numbered, I am going to put them into a just a page projector. Again, it's something that's very inexpensive. You can buy them in bulk. You can store a lot of your embellishments and some of the stuff that you build your stash in them. Um, and they, I would just put all the templates in one file folder in my big blue box. So when you have the templates, you remember you have both versions of it. You can lean this way and lean this way, and sometimes that matters. You can twist it however you want. I am going to do another build your stash one with using these templates. Uh, one of the things that I often do, I kind of do it a more assembly line. So I may be just sitting with my iPad in the evening, kind of chilling or whatever, and I might be say, okay, I'm going to look for some leaves or feathers or starfish coffee cups, and I just save it, and I make a Pinterest board, you know, called clip art or called future templates. So then I have that all done. Then the next session of my build your stash might be, I'm going to take those and save them as and bring them into the Word document and stretch them and print them off. Then I might have another build your stash session where I'm gonna you know, basically put them onto the cardboard paper and that will, then it can wait to do some, doing the fussy cutting I can do while watching TV, while at the doctor's office, while, you know, sitting outside in the backyard. Um, so don't think you have to do it in all in one session. It's amazing how much you have. So, you know, things that I've done this, I've done feathers this way, starfish, coffee cups, wine glasses. I've done birds, I've done flowers or petals of flower shapes. Now I have some leaves. I have heart templates. I want to make some primitive star templates. You want to choose something that you're going to do often. So, you know, go searching through Pinterest, give this a try, and, you know, now I have this to do a project with this and doing an autumn project. I'm going to, that I'm quite excited about, so we'll see how it goes. So here are the templates that I created and some leaves that I cut out from my gel prints. You can also do mugs, coffee cups, teacups, wine glasses, and wine bottles, different sizes. Feathers of all different sizes and shapes, and starfish. There are many more ideas. Please add your ideas in the comment section below so we can all share. And then when you go and create and build your stash with templates and tracers, share pics of your stash builder session in the Facebook group, Mixed Media Creations. Bye!